Like you've probably seen in my videos, I love surrounding myself with plants. But that comes with a few challenges. You need a beautiful plant and then a pot that fits your space. And then the plant grows and then the new pot often doesn't match your setup anymore. So I came up with a solution. A planter that grows with your plant. You know those typical 3D printed planters? Etsy is full of them and many look great. But as I browsed, I noticed most have you plant directly into the printed shell, no inner pot separating soil from the outer body. For my idea to work, I needed an inner liner so the outer pot can actually grow. I also tested which filament is more watertight for the inner pot, more on that later. So how do you make a pot grow? Even though I can't really draw, I always start with a rough sketch. It's the fastest way to visualize, add or fix ideas before I jump into Shaper. After a few tries, I landed on this. An inner pot and an outer shell made of stackable rings. The rings simply stack up to add height so the planter grows with the plant. Now it's time to jump into Shaper and start modeling. I began with the bottom ring, this one is closed at the bottom, unlike the others. The remaining rings nest perfectly into each other. I designed them to print support free and with 0% infill. Saves time and filament. Before I print the first test ring, here are my go-to fuzzy skin settings you can copy for a super premium surface. First, I set layer height to 0.16 mm. It takes a bit longer, but it makes a big difference. Next, I enable fuzzy skin for that premium look. I use 1 mm distance and 0.1 mm thickness. And because I don't want a visible seam, I set the Z seam to random. But can you already spot the problem? With fuzzy skin, the rings won't slide cleanly anymore, the texture adds a tiny offset and roughens the mating surfaces. My fix. Right click the model add modifier, place it over the inner sliding lip. In the modifier, turn fuzzy skin off. Re-slice. Now the outside keeps the fuzzy premium finish, but the hidden sliding surfaces stay smooth and the rings fit together perfectly. To find the right material, I ran a little experiment and filled two identical 3D printed inner pots with water, one made of PETG and the other of PLA. The result was clear after just three hours. While everything under the PETG pot stayed dry, a small water stain had formed beneath the PLA one. So for now, PETG is my choice for the liner. The long-term test will show if it holds up. Now that everything is fully designed and tested, it's time to print all the parts and assemble them for the first time. The assembly is simple. The inner pot can be printed in any size you need. I'm currently working on a version where the inner pot grows along with the plant. You can find more about that on my Kofi page. Link in the description. First, I repotted the plant into the new inner pot. Then I stacked the rings. After that, I place the inner pot inside the outer shell and that's it, the planter is ready. If the plant eventually outgrows the pot, you can simply print a larger inner pot and add more rings to extend it. I'm super happy with my new planter. If you want to print one yourself, head over to my Kofi page. You'll find all my projects there with step-by-step -step instructions, parts lists and all the print files. But after finishing this project, I really wanted to get out into nature and design something for the outdoors and that's exactly what I did here. 